basically what we are doing today is not to solve questions we are trying to analyze ways on answering questions so that we we'll get to know what the examiner is looking for and uh, what is required of us and how to tackle the questions but before we we go let's quickly look at the general examination tips what are those things that we need to do that we need to put in place before and after and during the exam one we must ensure that we get to the exam hall 30 minutes before exam and identify our seats if possible why is this so necessary and why is it very compulsory to get to, uh, to the exam center 30 minutes before the exam so that once you get to the exam hall you will be relaxed you will be calm psychologically you will be stable because in passing icon exam it has to do with what you've read and your psychological psychological fitness so one of the things that distracts a student for in exam uh, doing the exam is when you get to the exam hall you are late and you are rushing to do this you are rushing to do so many things at the same time you will be destabilized and which is not too good for the exam so we have to ensure to put everything in place so that we will be at 30 minutes before at the center 30 minutes before the exam and put in every necessary thing that need to put be put in place secondly when you get to the exam hall do not panic do not panic feel free relax look at it it is not do or die i fear but you have to pass you don't have to let anxiety to set in because when there's panic like i said earlier you tend to be imbalanced and when you are imbalanced you will find it a bit difficult to be able to think to assimilate and to also remember things that you've read that you need for the exam so ensure as much as possible when you get to the exam hall don't panic and one of the th things that you should also avoid doing when you get to the exam hall exam hall is not a place where you have to start castigating yourself and oh i've not read this i've not read that oh i've not touched this i've not touched don't be distracted be focused be focused you don't have to get 100 percent what you need you have is seven questions to attend for uh, attempt uh, five out of it five that is okay for you you've covered so don't listen to my friend i've said oh, i've covered all the slabs and me i have not covered how will i mm -mm. don't do it it is a personal race that you have to run you you've def defined how you want to how you want to tackle the exam so stay by it don't get distracted don't panic don't listen to mr a i've covered the slabs mr b i've done this mr and i have not done no 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 don't do that now thirdly if you are giving the exam question paper the first thing you should do is read carefully all the instructions it is key it is key read the questions and make sure you understand the questions when you are in the, when you find yourself in a situation you don't understand the particular question go over it again and make sure you are understand the question before you attempt any questions fourthly if you come across any question you don't understand don't be scared and start wasting time on the question 
don't start questions with those with those first questions you just got ahead answering the questions you already understand what you need to do during the exam by the time you you when you collected when you collect your question paper you read through the, all the instructions you look at it in most cases i do advise don't attempt question one first what i mean by question one the compulsory questions you don't attend the compulsory questions first because it's carrying 30 minutes. No. Go through other questions because in most cases, experience has shown that compulsory questions is always tough compared to others. So, quest compulsory question in most cases should be something that you attempt last, but you must attempt it. It is a must. You must attempt compulsory question. So, when you are given a question, read through, start from the one that you feel this is less tougher. That is, you understand better. So, start with those ones you understand better and you move. Fifthly, make sure that you conclude and round up your, your work at least 10 minutes before the schedule time. So that you can cross-check your work properly. This has happened to me before. In one of the particular diets, in a financial, I think it's FA then, it's, it was called FA then. The compulsory question. I thought I've done it and uh, because I looked at the question, it, it was a question that I've looked at and then uh, because of the volume of the question, I just let me put it aside. But I know what I need to do about the question. I've done all the questions. The examiner announced 30 minutes to the exam. I said, okay, since I'm true, let me go over my job, my work. I go over the work. Behold, question one, the composite question was left behind. I've not even attempted it at all. But thank God for... The time that I, I used to cross check, thank God I was able to cross check my work, and uh, I knew I quickly discovered that oh, I've left one question behind, and quickly I was able to do it, and uh, and uh, in no time, and I submitted ahead of time. So. Bumi, you're welcome. Please tell me your location. Akimbola Precious from EU, you're welcome. Kingsley Boy, you're welcome. Chinyi Uzoma, you're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. Now, this is another thing I want to add to this. I, I, when I say it's a surprise, when I see students saying that they failed uh, taxation, being it advanced taxation or taxation, I'm worried. What could be the reason behind all of these things? And I discovered that I couldn't find answer to this. It is easy to pass ICANN. It is also hard to pass ICANN. Depends on the angle you are looking at it. It is easy to pass transition in particular. Advanced transition. Advanced transition has been split into some various departments. There are some questions you cannot do without. One of the questions is petroleum profit tax. Profit, prof Profit, petroleum profit tax, expect questions, at least one question from pro, pro, uh, pro, uh, petroleum profit tax. Expect one question at least from company income tax. Expect at least one question from company income tax. So, when you have all of these things in mind, so and the question is, uh, the examiner is only asking you to 
attempt five questions. You should prepare your mind. What are those things that all of these questions and things, all of these topics and things, and you prepare for it. And when it comes your way, you just tackle it and move for um, move on. Now, let's start. If you are just joining us, you are welcome to our live class. Kindly drop hello. And in the comment box, you can... Uh, hello in the comment box and also your location so that we will know that you are here. And if you have any questions, if you have any question, kindly drop it in the comment box or better still on Telegram. All of this will be attended to in due course. Like I said earlier, we are not here to solve questions. We are only here to guide on how to answer questions so that success can be asked. We will be starting our analysis today on analyzing the May, the November 2018 advanced transition of Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria. Now, question. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria professional level exam November 2018 advanced transition. Time allowed. Time allowed is 3 hours 15 minutes. Including 15 minutes reading time. Instruction. You are required to answer five out of the seven questions in this paper. Can you see why instruction is key? We've identified now that it is seven questions that the paper uh, comprises. But out of the seven papers, we are only asked to answer five questions. Five questions. Now let's start. Section one, which is the compulsory question, thirty marks. Let me read. X and Y Limited is a manufacturing company that produces ice cream. It was incorporated on January 7, 2009, with an authorized share capital of twelve million. Pay made up of 12 million 12 million ordinary shares of one era each all shares were fully allotted and paid for it commenced business on january 2nd 2012 the detailed statement of imp Statement of profit or loss for the year ended 31st December 2017 is shown below. Itoro, you are welcome from me from you. Ogonetega, you are welcome from Ibadan. Oluwa Kemi from Portacot, you are welcome. Jennifer from Malawi, you are welcome. Jafaro from Joss, you're welcome. Grace from Lagos, you're welcome. Now let's move on. Revenue 112 million five hundred. Gross profit 48.199 million. Expenses directors emolument 7.2. Salaries, staff salaries 11.8, motor vehicle 690, insurance 7, 725,000, repairs and maintenance 2.485 million, business promotion and entertainment 1.3, stationaries and uh, printer and stationery 310,500. Transportation and traveling 2.75 million. Provision for bad debt 328,000. Postage and communication 1.3. I want to believe we all have these questions. Now let's go to the requirement of the question. 
The managing director was concerned after giving all of this. Yes. The auditor submitted the audit financial statement to tax office on June 20, 2000, 29, 2008. This was evidenced by the stand copy of the cover covering letter in the auditor's file. The tax inspector raised the best of judgment BOJ assessment of 10 million naira and a late return penalty for 750,000 on September 7, 2018. The managing director was concerned. Despite an effort by the managing director to comply with all tax regulations, the tax office still raised BOJ assessment and the late returns penalty. During the discussion at the management meeting of the company, the balance was attributed to the auditor. You are required to compute tax liability of X. X, Y, Z, Nigeria Limited for the relevant year of assessment. Show all workings, 25 months. B. Based on the results in A above, advise the managing director of X, Y, Z, Nigeria Limited on the availability, on the validity or otherwise of the best of judgment assessment and the penalties raised by the tax authority now let's go back to question one we've know the requirement the second or the question one is 25 months question the b aspect is just five months what are they asking us to compute they are asking us to compute the tax liability for x and y nigeria limited and don't forget the question have given us the profit, the net profit for the year ended to be 9.6 million. Underneath, we have info, for, uh, we have uh, additional information. The net asset as at December 31st, 2017, 21.5 million. Properties, plant, and equipment, 60.9 million. Breakdown is as follows. We have all of those things there. Now, what are those things that we need to look out for in this question? Anywhere you see company income tax, you are asked to calculate company income tax for any year. The examiner want to test some things. What are those things the examiner want to test? The examiner want to test the salable expenses. The salable expenses and allowable expenses, taxable, taxable income, and not taxable income, not taxable income. By the time you have this understanding that this is what the examiner want to test, you now begin to analyze the question one after the other. You begin to analyze the questions one after the other, the items on the question. What are those expenses that the company has incurred that are not allowable? What are those expenses that the company has incurred that are, are liable? Because th in this particular question, the uh, profit, the company has calculated the net profit, which is basis on which the company was assessed to tax by the company. But the tax authority is seeing something different. Now we want to know what are those things that is making the taxable income from the tax authority differ from that of the company those are the these are the four things that can cause the disparities now 
One of the things that caused disparity in this question were told in the question. We're told in the question in one of the notes of the account. Repairs and maintenance. Repairs and maintenance in the question which the company has used is for 2.485 million. But in additional information, repairs and maintenance, there's further information as to repairs and maintenance. The breakdown that make up the repairs and maintenance of 2.485 million was this. We have repairs of office furnitures, 155,000. Savings of uh, servicing of office equipment, 330,000. Construction of new gate house, 2 million. So this 2 million is the highest of it and we all know all capital all capital expenditure in nature are not a liable expenses they should be capitalized accordingly if you are just joining us you are welcome olakweju from lagos you are welcome olutola you are welcome in this stage your location so we all know that all the capital expenditure in nature are the saliable expenses. So, by the time you pick your net profit based on the account provided 9.6, you add back those the saliable expenses. And one of them is repairs and maintenance, construction of new gates, 2 million. We move further. Under allowance for bar debt. And like we all know, all general provisions are desalable expenses. Anywhere you see general provision are desalable. So you pick from that also, you pick back, you pick the salable, uh, you pick general provision and you add it back. Legal charges comprises the following. Retainership. Legal services rendered to the wife of managing director. The wife is not the company. And this legal expenses is a personal in nature, which is not allowed. You pick. There's another thing we need to add back. Those, these are the things that's making the, the profits accessible to tax from the uh, federal land revenue I am a point of view differ from that of the company. The company have taken in all of these things before they arrive at their non profit. But the, uh, the, uh, the federal land revenue is saying no. These are expenses that doesn't relate to the company or they have the way they are being treated. So you add it back. We move further. We also have cost of income tax appeal. During our classes, I have explained that any fine page is not an allowable expenses. We need to pick it and add it back. Another critical thing we need to add back is our depreciation. We have a depreciation of two point something, two million. Stand up. We we know that capital allowance is what they use to substitute for depreciation. So, and the capital allowance is allowed because of uniformity. Federal land revenue have design, uh, designed this that we should have a uniform way of charging our capital expenditure to our accounts so depreciation will be added back to the accounts i haven't get all of these desalable expenses we move further we do the addition and add it back to their profit we have what we call adjusted or accessible profit do we have any loss relief yes 
we have a loss relief of 670 in the question. If you, if you scroll through the question, you will see a loss relief of 820 after capital allowance was is in the past. We pick. We deduct and uh, now you know we add back depreciation and we said the position is not allowed instead it is capital allowance and we've been giving series of capital expenditures incurred by the company what do we now what do we need to do in this question we need to cal calculate the depreciation and the capital allowance for all of these things so after calculating the uh, depreciation for each period we this depreciation will now be what we will use a uh, capital allowance will now be what we will use vis-a-vis -vis. after getting the total of capital allowance we also know that we have restriction to capital allowance 66 to third of our accessible profit it is what will be allowed so we deduct that and we get our taxable profit and we now apply our tax rate accordingly which is 30 percent of total profit why educational tax is two percent of accessible profit now during our classes i explained that when you are giving any question on company income tax you need to also check in the question does the question comprises informations that can guide in compute computation of minimum tax if the if the answer is yes you have to go further with that don't wait for the examiner to tell you this you have to go further in testing maybe the company should be taxed based on minimal tax or normal assessment basis so you need to compare this it is standard because at this level at this level you are we expect that you are a professional to the core you are a professional to the core and you need to be in a position to take decisions you need to advise it is key so you calculate your minimal tax because we have we have net asset we have net uh, net asset as we can see in the question we have gross profit we have paid up capital and we have revenue these are basis on which we use to calculate uh, compute for our minimum tax so after doing all of this is where you've calculated where you computed your minimum tax and the normal tax you now compare you now compare between your minimum tax and the normal tax normal assessment whichever is higher if your normal tax is higher than your minimum tax you only advise that the company will be accessible to tax based on normal assessment because the minimum tax is less than or the the normal tax is higher than the minimum tax period that's what they are looking for you're welcome from abuja you're welcome davis from portacourt you're welcome welcome online now the b part of the question which is five mark the b part part of the question is asking us to based on our calculation and what we've arrived at is saying that we should advise the managing director of the company on the validity or otherwise of best of judgment assessment and the penalty the penalty and the penalty raised so based on this this is another at this level this is another thing you need to listen to and take serious at this level 
you are a professional to the core and we believe you are a tax practitioner or a tax authority which will be in a position to advise this be part of the question is asking us to advise and when you are advising we need to bring back our memory of report writing report writing we assume that you have the you can assume it is allowed Ola Oluwa and co chartered of uh, accountant of Nigeria, um, uh, chartered accountant, visa with state address, and you write to the managing director XYZ Nigeria Limited and quote whatever address and salutation. Dear sir, re best of judgment assessment of 10 million naira and late penalty of 750. Now, what are you doing in this place? Like I've said, you have to bring your reporting writing skill. But because you are doing Tasia, it is not English. You have to bring out those things that you need to raise. You need to raise for the managing director of the company to understand. Now, one of the things one of the things that is causing the argument here is the tax to be paid based on this the tax liability computed for the year ended these are the things you will state the tax liability of the company based on your competition you've completed this and you advise the company it, based on the tax liability computed for the year ended 31st December 2017, assessment year of 2018, your company is expected to pay so 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 tax. You take you state amount that the company ought to pay based on your calculation and company income tax and uh, um, uh, educational tax, and you go for that. We have objected. Don't forget, the federal revenue is bringing a best of judgment of 10 million naira. But based on your own competition, now you've arrived at the competition, uh, the tax liability of the company is around 2.2 or 2.3 million, which is far, far below the, the federal revenue judgment. So we have objected to the best of judgment assessment of the federal revenue so you've objected to that and you go further because they've asked you to state two things to advise based on two things the best of judgment and the penalty they've raised and don't forget, you will assume in this position because the, the, the company has appointed you as a their task consultant. So you need to, there are some things that when you are objecting, there are some level two you need to play. You need to write the to the federal area within a stipulated time, 30 days be, uh, um, after receiving the notice. Your, 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 notice of appeal letter of objection must get to them so you will state in your response to the company in our letter of objection to the federal revenue we have stated that the auditor financials were submitted blah, 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 blah. all of those things you just carve out something to make your point because two things you want to knock you are advising them on the two position of tax to pay and reason why the late penalties the, uh, the the federal revenue average will not stand so that is what they want to see in your letter don't forget this is just a five mark you raise this point q and you address it as if you are writing a formal letter that is all you move on
If you are just joining us, you are welcome. Please drop your questions on the comment box so that we can attend to it later. If you have any question. Please note that you can assess both the questions and solutions on this live class on members' areas. Please note that. You can go to member site member site area on our on our platform to assess both the questions and solution please drop your questions drop your questions we are here to solve the exam is around the corner we have 16 days to go now let's move to the second question don't forget i said position questions will come in form of under company contacts Petroleum profit tax, capital gain, transfer pricing, and all of those things. Now, section B. Section B is you are required to answer two out of three questions. Like I said, instructions is key to sources in this section is key olu oil limited has been in oil prospecting business in one of the major airfield in niger delta region nigeria since 2009 the company has provided the following operational result for the year ended 31st december 2015 Type of crude oil sales and statistics. Burning light, thirty-five thousand barrel exported at thirty-nine degree APO. Burning medium, a lot of those things. That's the question. Now let's go to the requirements. Evaluate the transactions and advise the management accordingly. Now, what are we doing here? The question said, Evaluate. Like I said, I've told you that at this level, everybody expected that we are all professional. We are all professional so you you will see more of advice 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 in the question and anywhere you see advice please endeavor to call to bring your advice in form of former former letter to the company so this question is asking us to compute accessible profits chargeable profit taxable chargeable tax total tax liability payable and all of those things that's the question if you are just joining us you're welcome you're welcome that's the question we are asked to advise first and foremost like i said if you're giving a question you cannot as a professional you cannot advise without basing your advice on a particular argument you cannot advise without basing your advice on a particular argument. So, first and foremost, like I said, when you are calculating, when you are solving questions on petroleum profit tax, we need to know our income. We need to know the saliable, the saliable expenses, the saliable expenses, liable expenses. These are key, and how to arrive at those things are key. That is what this question is telling us about. When you do all the questions, all the solv uh, solvings, you know this are liable. You add them back. All these are liable. You add them back, and uh, not taxable profits. You you lift it. Uh, you deduct it from the this thing, and you calculate whatever you need to calculate. Calculate your payment capital gain tax if necessary. If you are not giving the question, you calculate them and then you go. The major thing after your workings now is 
the former ways of writing because you keep irrespective of what you've shown in your calculation in your workings because you call workings now because the question is only say advice but you cannot advise without solving all of these things so you now come to the former letter the managing director olu oil limited blah blah blah, blah, blah that's matter you state those things that you was up we have evaluated the operational result of i'm going to give it a we have evaluated operational evaluated operational result of the company for the year ended 31st december 2015 and income derived from the following sources crude oil crude oil is exported crude oil is um, domestically natural gas Mesinilla income. You also consider the expenses and other relevant information relating to both income and expenditure, capital allowance, and prevailing exchange rates during the period and advice as follows. Now, advice as follows. Don't forget, they're only telling you to advise the company. Advise the company on accessible profit, chargeable profit, taxable, chargeable tax, and uh, total tax liability. So you state based on your, you refer to your calculation, which you quote as appendix. You state all those figures that you've gotten there, and uh, you enclose the necessary things that you need to enclose, and you close your this thing formally. It is report bring back at this level it go beyond i know how to solve the question it go beyond i understand uh, petroleum profit tax. it go beyond i understand capital gain tax report writing skill needs to play a role here that might be reason why we are see we are not getting this is all this why you cannot just write at this level at this level uh, solve and move on no they also want to see your skills. They also want to see your reporting skill. When you get to the field, how you will be delivered. You deliver. So all of these things carry maths. So that might be where we are not getting things right. Please drop your questions. If you have any, drop your questions. And then... Uh, also comment hello and your location to know that to, to, for us to be sure that you are part of us both the questions and solution on uh, of this live class will be on members areas no so let's quickly move to question two Question two is Sadiq Corporation was incorporated in Sweden as a limited liability company as a subsidiary of Omolu Bede Ventures Nigeria Limited, located in Akure, Nigeria. Akure, Nigeria. Penal Nigeria Limited PLC awarded the contract to Sadiq Corporation to renovate a rice mainly factory in Boku, Benue State, and another in uh, Abakalike, Ebony State. The contract value for the Boku factory is stated, and uh, let's move to what the question is asking. Required. As the local consultant firm in Nigeria, provide advice. Can you see? We've, we've dealt with this is the third question we are de dealing with, and it keep on telling us provide, provide. Like I said, at this level, they expected you to be a professional to the core. It is from this level you go to the field, so you do more of advice. So what I'm saying is, essence is your reporting writing skill is key at this level provide advice to the managing director of the two companies on the tax implications of the contract for the relevant year of assessment 
clearly showing their task liability, if any. If any. And like I said, anyway, you are given a quest, uh, question and you have figures, you have information where to calculate, you must endeavor. Please, the solution to question one is on members area already. So we are what we are doing here is not to come and solve question because of limited time. We are doing what are we, are, we are only analyzing way how to go about solving the questions. Okay. Okay, Kisley, you are asking that in solving questions on advice, can the, can the workings come first before the report? Yes, depends on you. Nobody will penalize you for that. Nobody will penalize you for that. You can do your workings, you can do your workings first and before you write your report. Nobody will penalize you for that. Thank you. So let's move on. Provide advice to the managing direct the management of the two companies on the tax implications of the contract for the relevant year of assessment, clearly showing the tax liability, if any, 15 months. B. Double taxation agreement exists among Nigeria and some countries, foreign countries. You are required. Explain the term permanent establishment as contained in the double taxation agreements between Nigeria and United Kingdom. Now, the A part of the question is asking us to also write a report. That is after solving. After solving, solving which will be your basis. So, when you do all of your workings, you do your report as usual. What are the keywords in the report? The project awarded to study is turnkey project. A turnkey project is a single or one off project involving survey deliveries. Installation and construction. The turnkey nature is liable to tax in Nigeria, and such a project is not deemed to be split between the Nigeria source and the offshore source. These are the things that you will state. Hence, tax only in Nigeria. The contract was awarded to Sadiq, a non resident company and sub subcontracted to Omar Ligbe Ventures Limited. The whole profit on the contract in Benue and Ebony is taxable as a Nigeria profit. Why expenses on subcontracting to are, are liable by the tax authority? These expenses are limited to cost of Sadiq Incorporation. So you state all of these things that you've observed there. You state you state it in your report and you close it normally. When I mean a report, I mean formal report writing. Close it well. Just faithfully for quote the name of the company and sign. The B part of the question is only acting and it's carried just a uh, five mark that we should explain explain permanent establishment as it's contained in the double transition agreement between Nigeria and United Kingdom. Permanent establishment means a fixed place of business where the business of an enterprise is only or partially carried out. So, you can read more. 
is a place of management, a branch and an office, a factory, workshop, a mining, oil and gas well, a quarry or any other place of extraction of natural resources. So it's a place fix or business. A building site or construction or installation project if it lasts more than 12 months. Those are the definitions for permanent permanent establishment. Permanent establishment. Permanent establishment. Please, 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 please drop your questions. Drop your questions on the comment box or on the telegram uh, our telegram pass. Drop your questions there. Let's tackle it together. This year, I want testimonies. I want testimonies. Everybody must pass. Everybody must pass. So I want testimonies. So if you are just joining us, you are welcome. You are welcome. Kindly type hello in the comment box and your location. So that we know you are here. If you have any question, kindly drop on the comment box. Both the question and solution of this live class is on members area. Is on members area. I don't want us to do more of reading because reading will just say right, 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 right. Let's move to question. Question four. Question four is write a short note. Write a short note on the foreign direct investments an incentive available to foreign investors in nigeria b fidelis agon recently decided to relocate to sweden as a result of new appointment offer to him Charles, you don't need to write. You don't need to write when writing your your reports in advanced transition. You don't need to write your personal address and uh, and your name. But if you do, nobody will penalize you for that. And mind you, don't forget you are writing as a consultant who we have a registered address so it is the assumption that you picture in your mind after you've qualified oh i want to have my own firm i want to so you just picture covered names you can say chima Charles, and co chartered accountant and put an address and nobody will penetrate or better still you can say companies letterhead company letterhead put letter company letterhead alone shows that it is addressed because everybody expected all of these things to be on your letterhead chima are you getting it everybody expected that to be all your address all the details they need about you on your letterhead so you can say company letterhead and when you want to close the account just faithfully for your company depends on the name you choose your company and the managing director signs close that's that i hope you get that thank you now let's move on so fidelis agam recently decided to relocate to sweden as a result of a new appointment offer to him by a multinational company his wife shioma decided to sell all her jewelries which she acquired for a sum of 6.3 million naira the buyer chief mrs ngozi chief mrs ngozi danladi was unable to pay immediately the sum of 8.4 8.4 million she therefore decided to enter into a sales agreement with Chioma Agon to pay in four installments within an interval of three 
month as follows 3.5 million 2.1 million 2.1 million and 7 million the first the first installment was paid on november 20 november 10 2013 which was the date of sales you are required to compute the capital gain for relevant years of assessment capital, capital gain for relevant years of assessment the capital gain for relevant years of assessment now we know this is uh, the question i've even stated that that we should calculate a capital gain tax. so we know what we are looking for and what is the major what what is the major issue that we may have with this question is how to apportion whatever was paid to the year it released to that is the only that, that is the only thing they want to test in this question the question said the question said the she therefore decided to enter into an agreement with Choma Agom to pay in four installments in four installments in four installments in four installments now and the question went further at three within three months interval within three months interval within three months three months interval three months interval and the first instrument was paid in november 2000 and 2000 and november 3, 2013 and we know and let me send it again capital allowance um, capital gain tax is subject to tax on actual year basis not preceding not preceding it is subject to tax on actual year basis so the first inter we are asked to compute the capital gain tax for the relevant year just five months so you don't have to waste waste time on it in 2003 november 10 11 11 20, uh, 20 2003 mrs chairman received three points 3.5 million 3.5 million 3.5 million so the next installment is in three months time because it is in three in three month interval it is three month interval so the next repayment is will now fall in 2014 so you pick the 3.5 million the 3.5 million in 2013 2013 and charge the appropriate rate which is So you charge the rate accordingly. Another thing we need to do here is because the it, it also incur some cost 
on me. So we need to deduct whatever he has incurred before arriving at our destiny. Now let's also let's move further. We know we've paid the first installment in in November. So the next installment will come December, January, March. That's in three months time. That is in February. The next one will come in March, April, May. The next one will come in May. Why the third one? Uh, the third one, the fourth one, will come in June, July, August. We come in August. In all of these things falls in 2014. So all of these things will be subject to tax in 2014. So that is that about the question. What they are just testing, they are testing your instrumental payment. How your knowledge of instrumental payment as it relates to capital gain tax. See, you are the tax controller of AB Limited, the holding company of a the holding company of a group of companies involved in various business, including trading, manufacturing, distribution, and packaging. The companies from time to time supply goods and services to each other at predetermined prices. You are required to advise the board on the factors to be considered when the entity transactions transact businesses business among themselves to ensure that the arms length length principle is upheld. This is transfer pricing question. What are those factors that the company needs to consider? Now, don't forget, there's two different things between report writing when it is involved you as a consultant and when it involves you as an employee of a company. In this question now, it is an employee of a company wants to write to the board or to the management. So, to the manager, we believe that this should be in the, in the internal memo of the company. To the board of uh, AB Limited from task controller. Factors to be considered when the entity transact business among themselves to ensure that arm's length principle are upheld. We are all aware that our companies from time to time supply goods and services to one another at predetermined prices. Arm's length transaction is defined because we want to believe they are layman. So you need to explain what arm's length transaction is. It's defined as basis of determining fair market value on dealings among independent, unrelated, and well-informed parties looking out for their individual interests. To qualify as an as an arm's length transaction, neither of the involved parties may have any interest in the transaction. To ensure that conflict of interest does not happen, there are factors to be considered to ensure the arm's length principle are upheld. This principle includes the similarities or identical nature of the transactions to that entered into by unconnected tax taxable person. The fact that circumstances of the transaction by economics is relevant. The characteristics of the goods, properties, or services transfer or supplies. So you state all of these principles and when you state the, we are only telling the management to be aware of all these things because of the kind of transaction you do in us. Instead of yours faithfully, if you put yours faithfully, nobody will penalize you. And you state your name as task consultant and you move on. Basically, at this level, report writing is part of what we should consider. If you are just joining us, you're welcome. 
welcome to our live class kindly type hello in the comment box and uh, your location so that we know you are here with us if you have any question kindly drop in the comment box please note that you can assess both the questions and solution of this live class on our members area you can assess the question on our members area you're welcome you're welcome, you're welcome. But you, you didn't state where you are you are reaching us from section c you are required to answer two questions out of the three questions in all in this section like i said instructions is key we need to we need to and we also need to manage our time we need to manage our time very well no now question five as a senior official in a firm of a task consultant your tax manager has just discussed with you issues relating to one of your clients you're welcome from saga uh, shagamu you're welcome from shagamu the summary of the discussion is as follows mr eckert a native of Oron, Oron, who resident in Uyo in Akwaibom State, own two properties, one in Kano and the other in Bine. The properties in Kano was built at the cost of 23 million, while that of Bine was acquired at the cost of 9.5 million. In year 2012, the properties in Kano was sold for 32 million and dispose and disposal expenses amounted to 2.8 million in 2014 mr eckert died and the property in Benin was transferred to his wife by the executor of his will the market value of the property in kano and benel Benin were 20 8 million and 23 million respectively in october 2016 the property in benin was acquired by edo state government to give way to highway construction a compensation of 25 27 million was paid required determine the capital gain if any b Determine the relevant tax authority which the li liability is due to. C. Give reason for treatment of treatment in A and B above. Now, let's start from the one in Kano. Let's start from the one in Kano. The sales process was 32 million. And he acquired the property for 23 million. And disposal expenses was just 28, 2.8 million. In all, we have 25.8 million. We have a chargeable gain of 6.2. Capital gain tax will now be. 10% of 6.2, which is 620. That is just that simple. In 2014, the, the property in Benin, Benin was acquired, was I want to quote direct from the question. The property in Benin was acquired by the state government to give way to highway construction. A compensation of 24, 27 million was paid. Six 
while in that of Benin was acquired at this in 2012, the property in Kano was sold in 2000 and was transferred. So you have to compute this two, this one too. It's a lent question because the property was transferred from Mr. Eckert to his wife. What is the sales proceed? 9.2, 9.5 because the value did not change. It transferred at that point. What is the acquisition? Is any chargeable gain? No. Any chargeable tax? No. But the other one is this. The one that was acquired by Edo State Government. That is the one we need to look at, which I will also be stressed with some explanation. The competition of capital gain for 2014, for the one acquired. What is the compensation amount? The compensation amount is 27 million for capital gain from the Edo State Government. Why the cost of the asset is 23 million? We have a chargeable gain of 4 million. But the question now is, do we have a chargeable gain tax? No. Why? Because when, when you sell, you forcefully sell to the authority, it is exempted. The income end, it is exempted for that purpose. So the B aspect of the question is now asking that we should determine the relevant task authority to which the li 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 liability is due to. The relevant task authority to which the capital gain tax is payable to is for property in Kano is Akwai Bomb State Internal Revenue Service. Why that of Benin is also same revenue services because that is where the owner of the asset resides. That is because that is where the owner of the asset resides. Question C. Now said we should give reasons why why we treat our question question A and B that way. Basis for determining capital gain tax in A above. The disposal of properties in Kano by Eckert is liable to capital gain tax at 10% of chargeable gain because it is not established that the Kano property is a private residence of Mr. Eckert. These are the assumptions. And you can also state otherwise. You can decide not to calculate a capital gain tax and state it in your question this is what they want to see they want to test you understand this they want to see maybe you really understand what you're doing now this examiner said it was treated based the way they've treated it because they believe that it is not the private it is not the private resident of mr eckett therefore the property is a chargeable asset liable to capital gain tax in year 2012 year of assessment on actual year basis so that is an argument. The disposal of Benin property to Emma is by way of gift. Therefore, consideration must be must be such amount that is sufficient to secure the disposal. Therefore, neither gain nor loss shall accrue to the executor for Eckert wins in 2014. However, the disposal of Bini property to Edo State Government was through forcefully acquisition, which I have explained earlier. Asset disposal to compulsory or forceful acquisition are specifically exempted from capital gain tax, provided the owner has not taken any prior step to dispose such asset. The chargeable gain of 4 million on disposal of Benin properties in yet shall not be exempted for capital shall be exempted for capital gain tax which I have mentioned earlier now let's, the relevant tax authority which the capital gain tax is due is Aquaibom so the actual reason why we are saying it's Aquaibom state internal board of 
Internal Revenue Board service. The reason is that Mr. Eket and Eket, a native of Akwaibon, a resident in Oronu, you see that in the question, the resident in Oronu, which is Nakwaibon. So, the fact that the asset be, uh, were situated in Kano and uh, Kano and uh, Bini respectively does not make it change the principle of the law. It is where the owner resident that the, the, the state where the owner resident that is where it will be subjected to tax. So we need to be very careful about all these questions. No reasons why. Let's go back. Like I've said in the in our opening class, I said you cannot escape capital gain tax. You cannot escape petroleum profit tax. You cannot escape company income tax and any other ones. You can have two two of these ones. Now in this particular question, we've solved two questions from uh, capital gain tax. So you need to understand all these things. Let's go back and do homework. If you have questions, please, please, if you have area of challenge uh, during the course of reading, post it on the telegram uh, Telegram class. I will respond. I promise you that I will respond because success must be asked. This uh, diet, we must get it right. Is a must. We must get it right. Thank you. Now, question six. In the interpretation of tax, taxing status, there are principles on which the interpretation of principal status is based by court. Legal practitioners are expected to have the knowledge in order to understand the status, status and their implications. These fundamental principles guide judges in interpreting the law in order to arrive at their decisions. Required. Evaluate three of the rules of literal interpretation in taxation. B. Now let's get with this question before we move. One of the cardinal rules for interpretation of tax is rule of literal interpretation. And it is interpreted as follows. One, if the language of the statute is clear and unambiguous, court must give words. Must give words their ordinary meaning. Court has no authority to place a different construction on it, even if it leads to an injustice. It must apply it according to its terms. Evans from Akwete Bado, you are welcome. John from Abuja, you are welcome. So, no task can be imposed on on the subject without word in the act, clearly showing an intention to lay a burden upon him. In other words, the subject cannot be taxed unless it comes within the letter of the law. So, those are those things that we need to know in terms of how it relates to the law. So, the big aspect of the question is saying that we should explain two rules each. Of the following players in the oil and gas industry dpr nmpc cbn six months six months so they are asking you to state two rules each so what is dpr DPR has the statutory responsibility of, uh, of ensuring compliance to petroleum laws, regulations and guidelines in the oil and gas industry. The discharge of this responsibility involves monitoring of operations at drilling sites, producing well, production platform and flow chart, crude oil exports, terminals and all of those things. Why carry now these functions? Among others, 
supervising all petrol petroleum industry operations being carried out under the licenses and licensing in the country monitor the petroleum industry like i've said ensure healthy safety and environmental regulations were confirmed to and all of this is why nmpc because we are only asked to stage two like i said don't when they ask you to stay two stage the two and move on don't do wasabi don't say because you know six you want to write six it will only end you two months two months uh, two months that it will end is somebody that stayed two it is what it will end somebody that said ten. so why wasting time you need to manage your time so why that of nmpc control and supervise joint ventures contracts control and supervise joint ventures contract regulate oil pump and oil and pump prices for petroleum products regulate and supervise oil and gas industry on behalf of the government and all of this is why cbn cbn include ensure close monitor of exposure of banks to oil and gas sector supervise the exposure of banks to the foreign exchange market in lend in their lending to the oil and gas establish foreign exchange rates for transactions in the oil industry so all of this you just state two 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 and yeah and your six mark at the end of the day you move on don't waste your time on any question now question seven please if you have questions post it so on our telegram class please 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 questions 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 if you have any challenges post it on telegram let's discuss it as a team this year we must get it right we must get it right we must qualify we must have testimonies by God's grace, we must have testimonies. Now, question seven. The Petroleum Industry Governors Bill, which was recently passed into law by both chambers of, Niger of the National Assembly, has again scandalized the interests of local and foreign investors in the oil and gas industry. A Chinese billionaire, while browsing the internet, came across the petroleum profits governor petroleum industry governors bill and the petroleum profit tax act cap p13 11 204 as amended downloaded downloaded and studied them carefully he however could not understand a particular section of the act that relates to classification of costs in the upstream sector of the economy i didn't get your question how about collection of revenue what do you mean by collection of revenue please can you can you rephrase your question so that we can i can answer your question or i can answer your question accordingly Mr. Chen thereafter contacted one of his close associates in Nigeria, Mr. Li Yen, to help seek for a reputable task or certain outfit that can provide professional advice on the issue at stake. The report is to be submitted to Mr. Chin, subsidiary company in Nigeria, Wu Integrated Limited Victoria Island required as the newly appointed task consultant of mr chu you are required you are to write a report on classification of costs in upstream sector of the oil and gas industry in nigeria specific specifically your report should explain the following mineral rights acquisition costs development costs production cost now what is this question asking us is only saying that we should explain all of these things but we are doing it in form of reports like i said when somebody is when you see any question putting you as task consultant and you have to write an external person you write a formal report it is formal the managing director of the company, the address, and on uh, the adoption that it is on your letterhead. Yes, sir. Report on classification 
of course, in the upstream sector of the Nigeria oil and gas industry. Format. You recent, your recent letter and subsequent discussion with the undersigned on the Abu Sabia matter refers. In line with the Petroleum Profit Tax Act 2004, as amended, please find below a detailed information on classification of costs in the offshore sector of the Nigeria oil and gas industry. One, which is A, mineral rights acquisition costs. These are costs incurred in acquiring concession rights in a lease area i mean who's responsible for collection of oil revenue on behalf of on behalf of the government on behalf of the government who is responsible okay i mean so i will come back to your question i will i'm jotting it down so that it do not disrupt our class now let me quickly answer your question straight. NPC collect revenue on behalf of the government and remit to CBN. If you can remember vividly, we have cases in the past where CBN and uh, NPC will be attacking themselves. You have not remitted this on on behalf of um. You have not re uh, remitted this this um, uh, particular sum that you've collected on the uh, uh, on behalf of the government. But they collect NPC collected and they remit to CBN. They remit to CBN for consolidator uh, cons uh, uh, for, for federation account. So because the account is tied with CBN. The Federation account domicile will see the NNPC collect on behalf of the government. Now let's move on. Revenue rights acquisition costs. These are costs incurred in acquiring concession rights in the lease area. They include signature bonus, bonus, legal fees, local statutory land acquisition fee and levies, reserve value fee, and all of those things. ETC. Acquisition costs may be related to may relate to prove or unproved properties. Cost incurred to purchase, lease, or otherwise acquire an items and items are initially cap capitalized when incurred. They include the cost of oil prospecting license OPL to search for oil, oil exploration license to exploit petroleum, oil mining license to win work, carry away, and dispose petroleum, bonuses and options to purchase or lease properties. Like that, you just explain. You give as much as you know because of the mark involved. As much as you know on this particular one, you answer the question, you move on. The second one, development cost. These are costs in case of to obtain access to prove, reserve, and provide facility for extracting, gathering, treating, and storing the oil and gas. These costs are incurred after a decision has been taken to develop a field or reservoir and include the following one drilling equity and testing the development and production well production platform downhole and warehouse equipment pipeline productions and initial treatment and storage facility as well as utility and waste disposal system these are development costs you incur all the costs at that level at that level improve recovery system and equipment development costs are usually capitalized as part of the cost 
of the company's well and related equipment and facilities. Thus, all costs incurred to drill and equip development well and services well are development costs and are capitalized whether the well is successful or unsuccessful. Cost of drilling, drilling, drilling wells and the cost of constructing equipment and facility are usually included in the company's uncompleted work and so on. Production cost, which is the last one. These are costs re reoccurring. Re these are reoccurring costs incurred in oil and gas production activities. Production costs involve lifting the oil and gas to the surface, gathering, treating, feeding processes, and uh, storage. Production costs are usually determined to be all costs incurred from the maintenance of wells and where held to the storage facility when the oil and gas are ready to exploit or deliver, delivering to refinery. Production costs are cost are those costs incurred to operate and maintain a company's where and related equipment and facilities, including depreciation, depletion, and applicable operating cost of support equipment and facilities. Examples of production costs are gathering, treating, feeding processes and uh, storage, cost of personnel engaged in the operation of wells and uh, related equipment and facility, repairs and maintenance of production facilities, materials, supplies, poor consume and services utilized in such operations, elastic payment, lifting and convening to the service. Don't forget, you are only stating all of these things in the body of your report. You can conclude the normal way you usually conclude your letter. I hope this position of the heart that guide the operation of oil and gas in Nigeria satisfy your inquiry. However, if you still need any further clarification on this, please feel free to contact the undersigned. Yours faithfully for Allah, task, consultant, blah, 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 blah. You close it. That is what the question wants. That is what the question wants. Please, please, if you have any question, please post it on the, on the telegram. I will attend to it. Or you can or post it on this platform so that we can look at it and uh, answer your question accordingly. If you are just joining us, you are welcome. It is not too late. You are late, but it is better to be late than, than to be late. Welcome. Kindly say hello. If you are just joining us. Kindly drop your questions in the comment box. Please note that you can assess both questions and solution. Questions and solution of this live class on members area. Please note that you can assess these questions and solutions on members area on our telegram. Now, let's quickly look at the history of Chartered Accountant of Nigeria Professional Level Exam, May 2018 diet. So I don't want us to I don't want us to bother too much on the because of our time on the instruction again because we have all agreed that instructions are key to exam success. So you must read and know what the examiner is asking from us. So it is key. So question one. You are the task controller of Wright Pharmaceutical Nigeria Limited, having its head, head office at K2 in Equel Local Government of Lagos State. In the past three years, the company has been subjected to an array of taxes by different revenue authorities within Lagos State and indeed the entire country. Apart from the company income tax, withholding tax in another tax, 
we told the tax is another tax that the company's management is co concerned about. We told the tax is another tax that company is is the management is concerned about. The managing director is very much worried that this multiplicity of taxes is taking its tools on the company's financials. The company is already facing a myriad of problems, raising from high cost of capital, which leads to increase in cost of production and attendance reduction in profit. The company's goods are becoming uncompetitive compared with imported similar goods. The long-term effect is either reduction in work force or relocation to a more favorable economic environment. The managing director has invited you to his office to discuss the following issues. One, whether as a corporate body, the company ought to be subject to Myriad of taxes beyond the company corporate tax. Two, the jurisdiction of the ties of government in the imposition and collections of taxes. Three, withholding tax. Four, pay as you earn, as it affects the staff and the and capital gain tax. You are also be provided with the following information: the company technical agreement, the company's technical agreement with foreign head office, and the needs to remit funds. No resident director are to receive 2.5 million. Staff pay has been centralized. Dividend has been paid to shareholders in different parts of the country, and those residents in Kogi State of Nigeria receive 375,000. Land for a factory in Abuja was purchased from Alaji, Garuba Matou resident in Kano. The company received 4.5 million as net dividend from an associated company for the year ended September 30, 2014. In the audited financials of the company for the year ended, a dividend of 9.5 was proposed. Out of this amount, 3.5 was from dividend received from another company, while the balance was from a total profit of 22.5 million from other trading activities. And out of the top, out of the 30 employees in Abuja, five are resident in Suleja, Nanja State. You are required to prepare a memo to the managing director to the managing director explaining the following one double taxation double stroke multiple taxation double taxation treats multiple taxation in nigeria measures put in place to reduce cases of multiple taxation in nigeria with trading tax with respect to four to one to four penalty for no deduction and remittance of withholding tax all of this is 12 marks b the arms of government empowered to legislate on tax matters by the constitution B. Relevant tax authority and the withholding tax due, if any. B. The appropriate distribution of the rep, of the income received from this, the tax due from this, and all of these things. Now let's do, look at this question. Like I've said, I don't want us to bother about. I, I don't want to bother about that. I, I have said, when you are writing anywhere, you see questions like this. What is required of you is memo and the question i've even stated there in question one that you should write a memo stating all of this is so you write memo 
so it is assumed that you are employee of the con of the company so the memo will be on the company's internal memo date to the managing director from task controller reads tax matters with reference to our, discu to our discussion in your office on october 10 2007 i wish to comment as follows so you define this thing what is double taxation double taxation occurs when a taxpayer is out outside his country and is subject to tax in both his country and the country of residence for instance income brought from nigeria will have been subject to tax in foreign country in accordance with the tax in with in accordance with that tax tax of the country tax law of the country so if the same income is further subject to tax in nigeria this will amount to double taxation similarly income accrued in nigeria to a non-resident will have been subject to tax in nigeria accordingly and if also the tax is if if also is taxed in the foreign country where the taxpayer domicile the amount is subject to is amount to double taxation so you just explain what you understand by double taxation and all of this is the, the second part of the question is saying that explain double taxation treat where a nigeria company earns income foreign income which is included in its chargeable profit for the year year of assessment and is subject to nigeria tax the foreign income received in nigeria is in most cases will have been taxed in the country where the income is received from and also nigeria where it is received this so this results in double taxation as it will appear that the company receiving the income is being penalized for any foreign income in order to minimize the negative effects on the international trade and to attract foreign investments nigeria has signed bilateral taxation treaties with many countries such treaties provide relief to company nigeria companies any foreign income already taxed so that's it that is all about double taxation treat now let's move to multiple taxation you are explaining it's just your you don't need to do anything on this question it's just for you to explain what all of these terms means to the managing director who doesn't understand taxation so multiple taxation it is a tax regime in which more than one type of government levies or taxes the same income asset or financial transactions an example is a situation in which the federal inland revenue services assess and collect value added tax on taxpayers and some states internal revenue service also impose this tax on the same tax payer. let's not go far in the case of nigeria, uh, legal state multiple tax in nigeria is affecting companies negatively to the extent that a number of companies are neither reducing their workforce or relocating to a more favorable economy environment so that is all you've explained it you've earned the mark we'll go further in all in this singular one report measures put in place to reduce cases of multiple taxation the federal government issued decree number 21 now and act under the law of federal republic of nigeria 2004 on taxes and levies approved approved for collection the schedule listed the taxes and levies to be collected by federal inland revenue state inland state government and local government so the law specifically states what 
goes to what this is entitled to collect, what this is entitled to collect, what this is entitled to collect. The 1999 Constitution also provides in part two that no tax should be imposed on the same person by more than one state. So that is the measures put in place. But the, you don't, we don't need to do this in real practice. Whether we are following this or not, it's not left for us to argue in practice. Five of the questions. We told in task. We told in task. We told in task. This is an advanced payment of income tax, which is deducted as source on certain transactions and later applied as tax credit to settle income tax liability of the year. To which the payment that solves the duration release. Withholding tax is deductible at the point of payment or when credit is taken, whichever comes earlier. Tax withheld is to be remitted within 21 days or the day the duty to deduct arises, whichever is earlier. That's the explanation. Withholding tax is not another form of tax. It's just an advanced payment of company income tax, which will, which will now be used to reduce the tax liability as a tax credit at the end of the day. So, go for the question. Go for that penalty for not, not deduction. A remittance of withholding tax. What are the penalties for no deduction or no remittance within 21 days? The company or individual shall be liable to a penalty of one ten percent in addition to the amount the tax amount of tax not deducted or remitted plus interest at prevailing commercial rates. Legislative power on tax matter. The power of legis to legislate on tax matter rests on the National Assembly, Senate or House of, Asse of Rep Representatives, and the State Assembly. Deduction of withholding tax slash payee uh, and relevant tax authority. Fees on technical agreements. Fees on technical agreements. Withholding tax payable on federal is payable to federal inland revenue. Is payable to federal inland revenue because if because in this case the person involved is a, comp, a limited liability company, non executive director, withholding tax on fees payable to withholding tax deducted on non executive director is paid to state internal revenue where the director are resident. Where the directors are resident, no resident director. Withholding tax is paid to is is the final tax, and it's payable to federal inland revenue. It is federal revenue. It's paid to federal inland revenue because the director is not resident in the country, so the withholding tax deducted will be remitted to federal inland revenue. So, we told the tax on non resident directors is the final task and it's payable to federal inland revenue services. Dividends payable to shareholders. Dividend payable to shareholders. We told the tax. To state internal revenue service where such individual shareholders are resident and federal inland revenue services in the case of corporate bodies. In the case of corporate bodies. 
dividend payable to individuals resident in Kano. In the question, you will notice that we have some individuals that are residents in uh, Kogi State. So we're taking tax of this, of the 37,500 payable to Kogi State Internal Revenue Service. Land purchased from Alaji, Karaba, in Abuja. Capital gain tax. Capital gain tax to Kano State Internal Revenue Service because a large Garaba resident in Kano but has his properties in Abuja. So the capital gain tax will be remitted to Kano State Internal Revenue Service. Five employees in Suleja. The payee will be paid to Niger State Internal Revenue Services. Niger State Internal Revenue Services. So that is that. When you answer all these things and you close it appropriately, you earn your mark. You earn your mark. Let's quickly move to question two. Because of our time, we have limited time. Please, if you have if you have any question, please drop it, drop it in the comment box, and we have the solution to uh, the the both the question and solution of this live class is on members areas, is on members areas, so you can assess it there. So let's go to question two, section B. You are required to answer any two questions out of the three so i don't want us to bother about i don't want to boss about that again Disposer or dispose of are terminologies used frequently in relation to chargeable oil owned by oil producing company under the provision of the Petroleum Profit Tax at CAP P13 LFN 2004. You are required. Differentiate between disposer and disposed of too much so you don't need to talk too much you don't need to waste your time on anything it's just too much differentiate between the two what is disposal what is dispose of two discuss the following intangible drilling cost oil mining lease so what are they asking us? They are only asking us to explain to differentiate the first one to differentiate between disposal and dispose of in relation to chargeable oil. In relation to uh, chargeable oil, disposal connotes delivery without sales of chargeable oil. Two. Why dispose of means chargeable oil delivered without sales to a refinery or to an adjacent storage tank for refining by the company? Intangible drilling costs. These are all expenditure for labor, repairs, hauling, supplies, and materials not being supplied. Not be supplies and material for wear, smart casing, or other wear features, which are for or incidental to drilling, cleaning, or completing well, or the preparation thereof in cure. You explain that. What is oil mining list? A lease granted to a company under the Mining Act for the purpose of winning petroleum or any assignment of such lease. Now let's move to the B part of the question. Let's quickly look at this because of our time. 
Ibrahim Oil Nigeria Limited is an oil So please, please, because of our time, all your questions, put it on, on our Telegram class. I will attend to all of them. All of them. I will attend to all of them after the, immediately after the class. All your questions, put them together, put it on, on, a, on a Telegram, and I will attend to all of them. So let's go. Question B. Ibrahim Oil Nigeria Limited is an oil prospecting company which commenced production in commercial quantity in 2008. Its accounting year ended is 31st December is 31st December. The company has provided the following statement of profit or loss for the year ended 31st December 2016. Revenue value of oil produced and exported 2.4 billion cost and expenses incurred as stated profit sorry about the question the profit is not the following additional information is required one exploration and drilling costs are in respect of smelt and casing of first appraisal well 50.3 million. Second appraisal well, 27.6 million. Third appraisal well, 22.4 million. And all of this. Let's quickly run. Let's quickly look at the question. What is required? Determine for management the following accessible profits, chargeable profits, taxable. Chargeable tax and total tax liability. Like I said, in this question now, we are not giving we are giving questions where the net profit has been given. Okay, please, please, because of our time. I want us to put all our questions together and put it on Telegram immediately after the class. Or after this class, I will attend to all of them. All the questions will be attended to. And in case you have any other questions that doesn't relate to this, you can post it there. The purpose of this uh, 